What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Miss Golden83. And since I'm on, you know, hiatus, I've been on a hiatus for a while as far as tarot is concerned, um, figure I'd just give y'all some of my little thoughts during my hiatus. So this is going to be a segment called Miss Golden83's Thoughts Comedians, okay? The topic is comedians for the night, okay? Um, we are being really hard on comedians these days, okay? New age comedians and even comedians from, you know, back in the day a little bit. I think people have forgotten the heart of comedy in a sense. Um... I'm a, again, I'm an 83 baby and I was listening to stuff that I shouldn't have even been listening to when I was, um, little, okay. When I was able to listen to and sneak and listen to my mom and her friends listening to old records of the late greats like Richard Pryor, Robin Harris, um, Red Fox, Paul Mooney, some of the real heavy hitters, um, can I, can I say Andrew Dice, Andrew Dice Clay? I used to love listening to Andrew Dice Clay. And I know a lot of people are like, who's Andrew Dice Clay? And others are going to be like, how she know about Andrew Dice Clay? I was listening to stuff and watching stuff I ain't had no business watching when I was, <laughs> when I was younger. But that's what makes um, my sense of humor is I have very thick skin when it comes to comedy. So... I kind of feel for a lot of these newer comedians that are out now who have also grown up listening to those types of comedians and have kind of like taken notes from them um, from time to time where they may talk about the most controversial of things um, that we have now as a society, and I'm not even going to say me, not including myself when I say we, but some of society have seemed to turn a little bit um, sensitive and want to play victim when these comedians talk about certain topics. Now, mind you, what you do in your life is your life. You have your own free will. Okay, to choose the life that you choose to live because that's how you want to live and that's how you, you are comfortable with that lifestyle. What you forget is, or you haven't or forgotten the era of the 80s and 90s where cracking, okay? I don't know if y'all know this term, cracking. Cracking means cracking jokes, okay? So, I don't know how, you know, many of you are familiar with it, but you can be in the hood, you can be at the lunch table with your friends, cracking jokes on one another. And when you're cracking jokes, the best of the best cracked the best jokes because they cracked jokes on themselves, Okay. They made fun of themselves first before anybody could make fun of them, okay? That was the premise of comedy back then, okay? Back in the 80s and 90s. If anybody remembers Comic View, uh, Deaf Comedy Jam, all of that, okay? All the late greats did it before these new age comedians did it, okay? So... In doing so, it's not so much in a sense of really cracking jokes at certain groups or people um, or things, but mostly people seem to be very sensitive right now. And it's not that they're cracking jokes at you. They're trying to laugh with you and help you laugh at yourself at some of the things that you should be able to laugh at yourself about, okay? And I'm not 
mentioning any names or anything like that of anybody's and whatever their thoughts are or opinions I'm not jumping on board with them or against them I am neutral I am just a fan of good comedy okay and that's because I have desensitized myself to certain things that have even happened in my own life where I've had to learn how to laugh at myself dealing with being overweight dealing with having psoriasis having to deal with gaps in my mouth I've had to deal with all of that okay and be okay with it and eventually when I have the dollars I will fix it (laughs) but for right now it's what makes me who I am and I could care less about what anybody has to say about me or how I look or how I dress or how I talk or how I look because I crack jokes at myself before I let anybody crack jokes at me okay so if we went with that premise if a lot of us went and thought of that as we watch these comedians instead of taking offense at what everyone says take the time to crack a joke at yourself laugh at yourself sometimes do you know how to do that anymore it seems like people don't know how to laugh at themselves anymore and if you don't know how to laugh at yourself how are you going to be able to laugh with someone else who's not cracking a joke at you they're trying to laugh with you meaning that they're trying to understand you or maybe they understand you better than you understand yourself as you're going or dealing with life the way it is okay you're we're trying they're trying we're all trying in 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 a sense as a society we are all trying to laugh with one another we are trying to all experience something with one another and understand each other as we go through this thing called life okay so one thing that brings people two things that normally bring people together is food and laughter those two things you can break bread with people and connect with people over a dinner table or you can connect with people through laughter okay so if you can take the time to learn how to laugh at yourself it doesn't hurt as much when someone else is not laughing at you they're not laughing at you they're not pointing a finger at you they are trying to laugh with you and help you see the humor in some of the things that we go through on a daily basis it is not trying to single anybody out it is not trying to point fingers at anybody it is just trying to say i see you i see what you're going through and let me try to lighten your load as you're going through this experience by helping you laugh through it so you can be stronger for it when you come out on the other side that's all it is and so i think if people thought of it in a sense like that maybe it wouldn't be so hard on these comedians because how can you criticize a comedian for trying to do their job you go to see these comedians you pay top dollar these ain't no cheap tickets either you're paying for them to crack jokes at you and then you criticize them for when they do crack a joke that you're paying them for you're paying to watch them on a streaming service you do realize that right you're paying monthly i do it too i pay monthly subscriptions to watch my favorite comedians do their own personal stand-up and they get a portion of that streaming (laughs) subscription they get a portion of it they also get paid by that streaming service to do a job their job is to make us laugh 
Their job is to not also make us laugh. It's also their job to make us think outside the box. It's their job to point out things and say things that normally the rest of us don't want to say or are too scared to say. And then we criticize them for it. Isn't that kind of hypocritical? So if you don't want to hear it, then don't watch it. Don't pay for it. Don't go support them if you're going to be that way. And if you can't take it, then don't watch it. And if you don't like what I'm saying and you think that I'm backing what these comedians are doing, when I've already said I am neutral, these are just my thoughts. But if you don't like my description of it, an explanation of it. You don't have to watch me either. It's not going to hurt my feelings. Not one bit. Not one bit at all. Because this is free 99. And you chose to watch it. <laughs> you can dislike it. It's fine by me. You don't have to watch the whole video. That's fine by me too. But just think about it. Just think about it. And really sit and ponder. Before you go criticizing someone. And this all goes back to the video, like I said. Stop idolizing these people like they're gods. They are not. They are regular people that chose a career that has them in the spotlight. And you are a fan watching them in that spotlight. And you pay for them to be in that spotlight. You don't like what they do? Don't like what they say? then turn the spotlight off and point your attention somewhere else. You can't hold them accountable for everything. Okay? So, I hope that makes sense. Just my thoughts. And I'll see y'all on the next topic. Peace.